This TikTok nurse might just be the filthiest nurse I've ever seen. Posting some bizarre TikToks showing how she takes care of her patients. And if you ask me, it may not be long before she loses her job entirely. Guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Today, we're once again diving deep into the cervix of TikTok. And let me tell you, it's pretty wet and dark down there. And while I was on my travels through the tunnels of the mentally unstable, I came across this TikToker who likes to touch her patients, apparently. And this TikTok account is called Nursing Sarah. And in a TikTok profile picture, she's wearing her nursing uniform while holding a stethoscope. In fact, she's the kind of nurse, ladies and gentlemen, that if your granddad went into A&E with a broken elbow, she'd be requesting to examine his instead. Hello, Mr. Price. Nice to see you. I'll be a doctor today. What seems to be the problem? Hey, Doc. Thanks for seeing me. I've just been having some really bad headaches recently, and I'm not sure what the cause is. Yep, no problem, Mr. Price. So, what I'm going to firstly ask you to do for me is just to pop up on that little bed over there, pop your trousers down, and we'll have a little examination of your testicles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. T test legs. I, I have a headache. And following that, I'm just going to put a little bit of jelly on my finger, and we'll have a little inspection of your anus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Doc, it's my I've got a bad headache. Please, Mr. Price. Price, stay calm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, with this kind of nurse, it's not too far from the truth. So this account really started to blow up when she posted a TikTok which was titled The Battle Between My Inner Angels and Demons Every Morning. So the patient has morning wood again, but we have to stay professional. Ask him if we can see it. Okay, and if a patient's got morning wood, what exactly does that have to do with you? In fact, if I was laying in a hospital bed and I somehow managed to conjure some morning wood and a nurse came over and asked me if she could see it, I'd probably strangle it myself with the IV cord. And the thing that she really sat there and thought to herself, you know, I'm a nurse, I save lives, I, I help people. But uh, I have a really good idea. Let me post a TikTok about me asking to see a patient's cock. <laughs> it's disgusting enough that these medical professionals act this way, but they cannot even be on the same beat and rhythm together. It's so easy to do the trends, and they still failed. Uh, two, two things quickly. Um, I think them being able to do the trend correctly is the least of our problems right now. Uh, excuse me, nurse, did you just grab that old man's box over there? Yeah, yeah, well, don't worry, that's the least of my concerns. You did a really sh** job on this TikTok trend. Second of all, there isn't more than one nurse in this video. It's the same person. She just edited it in a way to make it look like there's two nurses. I thought that was obvious, but clearly not to some people. You need to go and get your eyes checked. Although, don't go to this hospital, because you'll leave with a lower sperm count than when you initially arrived. But if you thought that was bad, you know, it's it gets so much worse. There are so many more worse TikToks that is on this profile. And I know we're all sitting here thinking, yo, is this satire? Or is she actually a nurse? That seems to be the question with all of my videos. I don't know why. Is it satire? satire or not? Well, on her Instagram, I've checked, called CNA Sarah. Let's have a look at that. Oh yeah, and it says here that she works in the intensive care unit. Hmm, more like the intensive cream unit. <laughs> Speaking of cream, let's take a look at this TikTok. And just to warn you guys, the deeper you guys get into the video, the worse the TikToks will get. So you have been warned. Jerry, you heard me warn them. Did you not, Jer? Jer, do you, do you, you, you you. The patient couldn't hold back, so he just ripped right through it. Okay, firstly, I was confused by the caption and didn't understand, but then I looked closely and saw that she had some fine-aged substance. Fine-aged substance on her face, I guess. So what she's trying to imply is that there are patients nutting on her. Which, if you're a nurse, a real nurse, I'm sure you know that never happens. <laughs> But the whole premise of today's video is that a lot of people are angry with her because she's a nurse and she's making thirst trap TikToks. What she doesn't realise is that some of the things she says could be seen as sexual And her next TikTok just questions that even more. We take morning wood checkups. Very seriously. Skull emoji. POV or co-worker goes down to check on the patient without you. Oh god. You dirty little liar. I'm sorry, I can explain. And there we go. The nurse is talking about giving a double-handed sausage twist to a patient. Brilliant. Again, these people in the TikTok are the same person. But I'm pretty sure it goes without saying that as a nurse, you can't just go around and grope your patients, and you certainly can't give them the two-handed special. How would she even do that anyway? She's only got one hand. <laughs> Look, despite her having no hand, it... <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean that these videos that she's filming suggesting that she does these things is actually real. Maybe while she's working as a nurse, she has these weird dark f 
fucked up fantasies and on her break time she decides to go into a spare room and just feed her fantasy into TikTok, who knows? And then we're the ones that have to deal with the effects, the lasting effects that these TikToks have on us. The patient with the dysfunction finally got the natural treatment he needed. And then just the state of the top comment on this video, honestly, read this. I need this. Really? That's your first thoughts when you see this TikTok? Mine were more like, oh boy, I really don't want to get my rib cage crushed by a nurse. Not only is there deep bone crushing compression, but she's also touching you with the creepy hands on the butler hand. I don't want to be touched by no creepy hand. <laughs> it's, all... <laughs> it's okay. This is my strong hand. <laughs> I better use my strong hand. Alright, just for all of you, before you start coming in the comments like keyboard warriors, I'm referring to Scary Movie 2 there, okay? Calls it a strong hand. Okay. But guys, before we carry on and watch more horrible thought out TikToks, uh, why don't you guys hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel because we're trying to get to 100k by September and we're almost there, alright? We're on 86k, we can totally do it. So with your guys' support, join the family, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification and Honestly, appreciate you guys so much. Right, let's watch the next TikTok. When the combative patient broke out of his restraints and generally started tweaking, I was about to be promoted to patient. You are mine! You are mine! <laughs> wow, a video about a, a nurse being ripped. Yeah, that's, that's my uh, favorite kind of content to watch. And this was also meant to be seen as a thirst trap. So we're glorifying people being ripped now, apparently. Oh, hashtag funny. Oh, <laughs> that was meant to be funny. <laughs> well, I'm happy to see that my tax money going straight to the NHS is doing some good. Well, actually, thankfully for me, she's not from the UK and she doesn't work for the NHS. So it's safe to say that I might be lucky on that part. Some patients take every chance they get. Wow, more content about being graped. I mean, <laughs> it's just peak comedy, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, just women getting graped. I mean, it's just, is there anything funnier than that? Not just that, but she dropped the syringe on her foot, which I'm guessing is some kind of anesthesia, which put her straight to sleep. My advice would be to not hold it with your strong hand. Don't, don't hold it with, why would you hold the syringe with this hand? I mean, it practically just renders you as incapable at that point. I mean, how would you even, how would you even do anything with that? Now, in my whole years of the YouTube career, I never thought I'd say this, but let's take a look at these salt TikToks next. POV, my patient didn't wake up with morning wood today. This is why I don't wake up in a good mood. This is why I don't wake up in a good mood. Imagine waking up and seeing this. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you wake up after surgery, you've just lost a leg, and you got this thing trying to grind its vagina on your face. But not just that, if a patient wakes up and doesn't have morning words, I'm pretty sure that is none of your concern. So there's no reason to mount a bed and put your whole civilization in his face. It's just, it's just unneeded. If she actually is a nurse, I think she's got her priorities a bit mixed up. The first point of focus should be the patient's health. You know, does he have any blood clots in his lungs? Is he in need of an emergency surgery for a prosthetic knee, perhaps? Not to check out his morning wood in the morning. Oh, he hasn't got a stiffy today. Let me just fuck mount that cunt real quick. Yes, guys, it's a different day. I'm wearing different clothes. Don't be so surprised, all right? I do take showers. I'm not a pheromone maxer, or am I? So upon a little bit more investigation into this creature, I've discovered that she has an OnlyFans. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a nurse has an OnlyFans. So yes, we are going to take a little look into that real soon. However, I've got two more TikToks to show you, which I'm pretty sure you'll be amused by. When the patient is staring, too obvious again, so you dab him a- Oh, sweet! A non sexual TikTok. I can't wait to watch this. Oh, Jesus. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, a false alarm. I really thought that was going to be an innocent TikTok. <laughs> At this point, I really hate to speculate on what my neighbours think of me. They probably sat next door having a cup of tea and they could just hear... Oh, well, not even the innocent are innocent anymore. So in case you couldn't tell what she was referring to when she said she was going to dab him up, she meant she was going to dab up his cock. <laughs> you got a bit of bloody sausage over him. Mmm. <laughs> Nothing quite like the taste of raw sausage. 
But either way, people in the comment section are claiming this is assault, but even though she hasn't done this to anybody that, well, that we know of, as far as I'm aware, she hasn't committed any crimes yet, unless she's actually done this to somebody. And as I said earlier on, this might just be a f***ed up fantasy that she has. Which is great to think now, as a patient visiting a hospital, you'd be sitting there on a hospital bed receiving some medical care from a nurse, and all you're worried about is whether or not the nurse will give in to her intrusive thoughts and sexual you. Oh, but this is actually pretty good. She did a guide on how to do some CPR. Finally, some medical content that we can learn from. Excited, guys? Leave a like on the video. Let's watch it. Oh, just bitch slapped the patient there. Not sure if that's uh, supposed to be a part of it, but <laughs> we'll carry on watching. Hopefully, she delivers us some good teachings. Let's carry on. Right, well... <laughs> I don't think that's a requirement. I don't think you actually need to mount the patient's head and rub your beef curtains in it, but if that saves the patient's life, most likely we'll kill him, but let's carry on watching. Uh, 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 stay in the left, stay, no, she's doing it wrong. She's doing it wrong. Staying Alive is just a perfect song to hit 100 to 120 beats per minute. Uh, 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 stay in the left, stay in the left. <laughs> Can't tell me by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's man. Oh, she, she, oh, there's even, there's even more to this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, well, she just manhandled the patient who's been in a motorcycle accident and lost both of his arms and legs. Can I be that doll? I mean, really? Do you actually want to be that doll? How sad is that? And personally, I don't think this CPR method ever helped anybody. In fact, it's probably put more people in comas than it's actually saved people's lives. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at our OnlyFans, all right? Because uh, we've been through her TikToks now, and we've seen the monstrosity that's there. Um, we're going to check out her OnlyFans, because she does have one, and it's called Sarah. Were you expecting anything else? Or <laughs> hand model? Yeah, I'm assuming that's a joke because of the strong hand. You know, the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm Sarah, and before you ask me, yes, I'm really a CNA, and I was born with my left hand. I have dysmelia. Since my socials get banned all the time, I created an OF where I can share everything. Plus, I check my phone every two seconds, so please let me know if I text you too much. DM me hand model after you subscribe, just so I know you read all this. Can't wait to get to know you better. I'm actually really impressed by how she managed to write all that with no grammatical or spelling errors. I mean, she writes better than me, and I've got two hands. Oh my days, nearby, 15.2 miles away. Are you are you kidding me? Yo. Fucking hell, she must be next to my... Hello? I mean, surely that's not real, or she can't be that close. I mean, I did go to the hospital the other week, and a nurse tried to grab... I mean, it's three bucks for 31 days. Do I really want to be wasting my money on this? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Straight in there, into the cervix of Sarah. Sound a bit weird. <laughs> oh, here's one. Um, I have the cutest grandma in the world. Really? You're bringing your grandma on OnlyFans? Okay. <laughs> ka -chow! Lightning McQueen has officially been outpaced. My butt is just too fast for him. Can you handle this speed? I am speed. <laughs> Seems a bit too uh, cheerful for a silly charged post. <laughs> But we'll roll with it. Swipe to see me eating a banana. Haha, <laughs> yes, my baby hand can hold a banana. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I bet it'd look massive in that hand as well. But let's just take a step back and remind ourselves, this is a nurse, right? This is a nurse. And she's, like, just basically just gone all out for absolutely explicit content. And also performing acts of, well, skits, we should say. Skits of acting out sexually. Assault, which I mean, is absolutely hilarious, isn't it? I mean, that's just peak comedy. And remember now, I've already said she hasn't actually assaulted anybody in her TikToks, but what she claims she does during her work hours would be classed as assault. So what do I think, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I don't think she's actually a nurse. I think she's just a TikTok thirst trap that just begs for attention. And that's what I actually take from it. I mean, her Twitter just full of just daily tweets where she barely mentions anything about being a nurse want to spend the day together in bed naked watching movies but don't you don't you have uh, people to save like you know i don't think a nurse spends all day in bed watching movies naked <laughs> i mean do i mean we've all got jobs do i mean i am um, yeah yeah i mean i've got a job haven't i i'm a youtuber that's, that, that's my job 
Leave a like, guys, if you enjoyed this video, and also check out my other videos, which are pretty, pretty awful. Just as bad as this one, in fact. Subscribe.